It's a sport, a pastime, and to some, an obsession that is gaining popularity year after year in the state of Michigan. It's sled dog racing. This heritage-steeped form of transportation at one time was the only way to cross vast expanses of our frozen north. Now, from the UP to throughout the Lower Peninsula, enthusiasts are hitching train dogs to the front of sleds and taking to the Michigan wilderness for recreation and international competition. On this edition, we visit the Batchelder family of Auganac. We take the sport very seriously, so much so that they now are kennel owners and have dreams of participating in the world-famous Alaskan Iditarod. Daughter 12-year-old Courtney is in training now to participate in the event's junior competition. That's when she'll be 14, the minimum age for the 160-mile race. The family was formerly a snowmobiling family, but as dad Kevin tells us, things changed dramatically after they saw their first sled dog race. The kids went for a ride. They had spectator rides for the kids. And uh, so the kids went for a ride. I helped a few teams to the line and we've been really hooked ever since then. We came back the next year with our own team of three dogs and and had a great time. The rest is history. What is it about the Iditarod that draws the people? I think it's the romance of knowing you're out there against the elements and it's you against mother nature or along with mother nature really. Um, you're out there with 10 to 16 of your best buddies mm -hmm. you know, going along the trail. Is that the ultimate experience for many? Definitely students? is. I think just about anyone that hooks up a sled team romances about that. So Courtney's dream is coming to reality more or less kind of quickly for many people. She's going to be hopefully experiencing the Iditarod, the uh, junior. The junior Iditarod, mm -hmm. which is 160 miles, Ooh, okay. which is a two-day event for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll camp out overnight on the trail. There's no assistance at all. And uh, again, it's just they're responsible for their, their dogs and uh, the care of them as they travel across the great state of Alaska. Mm -hmm. um, well, I wanted to um, have a better bond with my animals. Mm -hmm. And I want to be a veterinarian, so this would be um, a good experience for me. Uh, what do you have to do to take care and make sure that they're uh, ready for racing? Uh, make sure they're in condition mm -hmm. and make sure they have the proper nutrition. and. Mm -hmm. What do you have to remember when you get on the back of the sled? I mean, are there certain things you've got to take uh, to account before you get the dogs going? you got to make sure they're all harnessed right? Or what do you have to do? Well, you have to remember never to let go. Never let go, yeah. no matter what happens, right? Yeah. Okay, have you ever had any experiences like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but they know your voice, though, don't they? Yeah. So what do you hope to do with uh, your racing? Are you just going to, you know, this is more or less a hobby, or do you want to take this more professionally, or are you just like doing what you're doing now? Just like do what I'm doing now. Yeah. And what Courtney is doing now is something she loves. You can tell it in her determination and dedication to her team and training. As the morning progressed, we also learned that Courtney was a good teacher. and She told me a bit about the basics of driving. She even let me try my hand. But one thing I learned was that she and her family deserve a lot of credit for mastering this art, which is a lot harder than it looks. With that, we wish the Batchelder family of Algonac the best in their sled dogging adventures, and we'll be watching for the name Courtney Batchelder to be appearing soon on the roster of participants and perhaps winners of future Alaskan Iditarods. <laughs>